We're going to take you out to the West Coast here with Lucas Oil on the edge today. Ken Stout, Brian Olson, ready to call all the action from the Lucas Oil Naha Motorcycle Verticross here in Tracy, California. It's a windy, wet day. Should be a lot of fun. I tell you what, every time we go to a Verticross event, it seems like the black clouds and the rain follow us. And sometimes, Ken, that makes for very interesting side-by-side -side racing up these tough, tough hills. With more on today's event, let's get it down to the man that's standing on the grounds, Rob Clipper. Guys, when we take a look at the 700cc Verticross class, these are the bad boys. Up to 700cc engines, about 150 and 160 horsepower. Now, they can run cut knobby or the rubber tires. So what's really cool about this class, they can run any kind of fuel they want. They can run racing fuel. You can put pump fuel in it. You got NOS, bolt it on. You got nitro, put it in. That's the 700cc, the bad boys, the fastest on the hill here today. Well, let's tell you what Verticross is. It's Verticross and Hill Climb combined, only in this case, side by side, two riders, just like drag racing. First rider to the top of gate number five is the winner, goes to the next round. Pretty exciting first pair. Casey Martinez has drawn a tough card and a championship winning Robbie Peterson alongside. She is holding her own oh, right oh. now, though. Good competition, and Peterson is done early. Casey. The beautiful young female hill climber has taken out one of the best of all time. Listen to that crowd. Now, Robbie Peterson on the right side of your screen gets a very good jump. Casey does a good job as well. Now, you notice there's almost two lanes there to take. But listen, you don't have to take either one. Casey moves right over. Robbie has to take yet another line. And one of the best in the business is out in round number one here. And guys, catching up with 19-year-old Casey Martinez. Took down one of the big dogs here today, Robbie Peterson, former champion. We saw him last time right across on the edge here on speed. But what was it like lining up against him? Was, were you nervous at all? Um, yeah, I was for sure nervous. The hill's pretty steep and technical, so um, the outcome was pretty surprising for me. Um, I'm pretty excited for the second round, and hopefully the outcome's good. You know, it's just one of those deals. You never know what's going to happen. You have to give it a shot. Al Wesson and Travis Whitlock. Whitlock, another championship winning rider. Absolutely. Another name synonymous in the sport. Peterson and Whitlock, two of the best names in the category. And this is just nothing more than it's a great race right here. But Whitlock is taking the lead, and Whitlock will move to round number two. Watch Ben finish up this run here. Hey, let's talk about championship winning riders and guys that are tough. Dusty Beer, one of the greatest of all times. He's ridden with broken bones before, and a year ago, Rob Klepper took a pretty hard header. And guys, one of the riders we're going to have to keep an eye on here today, a multi-time winner in open competition here, not in the Verticross, Mr. Dusty Beer. Dusty, you got a lot of wins here at Tracy, California. But let's go back to Montana. Last year, we saw you on the edge on speed, a big crash there. How do we fight back after a crash like that? The reason the crash happened, I was pushing too hard, rode an edge that I probably shouldn't have quite rode, and then missed time. But, you know, the only bad thing about it was the bike at the very end came over and tapped me, gave me a little up tap on the helmet. Wasn't too hard. It, it definitely looked worse than it was. Going for it across. How about this hill and Tracy? I think when you when you see two guys get together, you're going to see a lot of guys kind of throw everything out the window. They know about hill climbing, and they're just pretty soon start racing. So somebody usually that's smooth is going to end up being all over the place and rough, and, and that allows pretty much anybody to win. That's a great way to put it too. Well, not only that, how about the little bump on the head? Two of yeah. the best in the business matching it up right here. Corey Sweat loses a chain right off the bat. This one will go to Dusty Beer. And you got to tell yourself and or ask yourself if it's an upset or not, because again, two of the best in the business out of here. That long swing arm coming into play right there as he powers that thing up there, keeps the front end down, and you can see the rear chain coming off of Sweat's bike. At the end of the day, just like drag racing, it's round robin eliminations. Peterson, Waddell, it's Brett this time on the sixth. Again, two big Woo! names in open competition, and that was Peterson that went down. Harold Waddell is going to win this one. If he can stay out of trouble here, he'll go through the top of the eight five. Excellent job for Harold Waddell as we continue on here with the Verticross. Verticross.
In traditional style hill climbing, it's pretty simple. You got one rider racing up the hill against the clock. The best time of the day, that's your winner. Vert across, two riders, it's all different. But it starts right here. The start line, you got to play with this gate. We've seen Moto on speed before. This thing is very crucial to get that whole shot. But what's also cool about Vert across, as I mentioned, is you're going against another rider. Two riders racing up the hill, and it's pretty simple. First guy to the top, that's your winner. The gate's crucial. I mean, if you if you don't get a good gate, you're gonna be you're behind the guy, and that's where you don't want to be. <laughs> if you can get front right away, it's a huge advantage. On the takeoff, you gotta just hammer down, look up, don't pay attention too much on the down slope. But right when you hit it, you gotta take that first corner. If not, you know you're fighting the rest of the way. It's huge to get out front right away. You don't want to get behind that roof. It hurts. And gearing will be an issue and trying to get traction. You get behind one of these bikes, get roosted, and you got to just get in there and stick your front tire in there. And everybody's pretty friendly, and but you get up there and it kind of changes everybody's attitude. We're just trying to keep on our toes. I think we got everything dialed right now. It's only sprinkling right now, and uh, if it stays that way, I think we'll be good. Except for round number two, go back to last year as the rain comes down a little bit harder. Remember how many races at the tail end of the show were decided right there at the gate? Casey Martinez, who took out a tough Robbie Peterson in round number one, is back here, but this time she's in trouble and way off the pace. She will be eliminated here in round number two. And the other thing that they need to make a point of is there is a preferred line up the mountain. Shipman was the first one there to it. That's why they say it's so critical to get off that gate. Jesse Kilgore, Jason Smith on the right side of the screen here. There's two lanes at the start, but right there you can see they're both using the same dirt. Rain coming down. This place is getting a little slicker. Oh, man. That was a great on helmet shot right there for Jason Smith, and he'll move to the next round. James Perry and Travis Whitlock up next. You have to lean towards Whitlock in this particular battle. Gets a good hole shot and is going to drive away. Another loss chain, it appeared at least. And Whitlock, one of the best in the business, will just try to be consistent and get that thing to the top of the hill without any problems. He'll make it into the round of eight. Well, guys, here we go. A little bit of family action. The Beers going at it. Dusty Beers, the multi-time champ, and of course, Nick Beers' his son. He's got lane choice. Nick picking the right side lane. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. And Dusty pops, lays up short right at the gate. Now, I'm surprised these guys don't refire and take off because if something were to happen to Nick here and Dusty could drive back around him, beat him to the top, he could still win this set. That's exactly right. I mean, all he's got to do is bobble just a little bit, and Nick does not, and he'll make his way to the quarters. Let's watch Dad over there. Oh, Dad! Oh, he got it. He's stuck in the gate. Yes, he did. He stepped it too early trying to get a little edge on the kid. <laughs> he wanted a whole shot to kid, baby. Oh, a big race here. Brandon Whitlock and Harold Waddell. Some of the other riders are stood back just a little bit further of that gate. And again, we mentioned last year we got down the late rounds. That gate decided a lot of the rounds later in the day. Waddell up over the top first, Whitlock in a distant second. 